Today we're down at a course that hosts Ladies European Tour Qualifying and I'm going to see if I can break par here. We're down at the beautiful Arara Golf Resorts. We're on the Challenge Golf Course, which like I say has hosted European uh, qualifying for the ladies and also some Portuguese masters. It looks tricky, it looks stunning, there's a lot of pine trees and today it's season three, it's episode five of In The Red. Let's see if we can go and get it done. Come on, sun shining, it's November, it's brilliant. Here is some evidence of uh, where my ball hit. Nicely down the fairway. I think these pine trees are going to be a little bit of an issue today for me. Not the start we wanted, we need to get this thing under control quick time. Lost my mind, it's all gone wrong, it's all gone Pete Tong today. Please be a good yardage because that is all over the stick. Let's go, come on everyone, come with, I'm going birdie town. So a little bit about the course before we head out onto the first tee. It's just under 7,000 yards, it's a par 72. Like I say, has hosted a Ladies European Tour qualifying and some Portuguese Masters now. It looks very tight. There is another course here at Arara, which is the Pines Classic, which is a little bit wider off the tee, as where well. around here it looks like it shapes around the Pines a little bit more, so I think the big defence is tight off the tee with all these pines but then also there is a bit of bunkering around there so I think I'm going to have to drive it straight which when we look back at last time when we were at Archerfield I drove it pretty well off the tee my big issue was hitting greens my stats were absolutely shocking when it came to um, greens in regulation luckily I had a short game that saved me that day we didn't get in the red then we shot one over par but today my big aim is to try and improve that greens in regulation stat, keep my fairways up there. If I can try and get around about 60%, I'll be pretty happy knowing how tight this place is. And then my goal is four birdies today. I've seen the holes. I've had a little drive around the course. I think there's some gettable par fours, but then it's just making sure I don't, don't stray off the tee. But generally, we've been pretty good. So let's see how we get on on this first tee. Hole one then, here we are, 458 yards, a par four that plays straight down. There is a bunker that is 256 yards to fly on the right hand side, but as a tee shot goes on the first, if I was playing Q school here, I would be intimidated because it looks about 10 yards wide as you shoot through the pines. It does open up when you get down to the fairway, but the initial little alleyway, I mean, this is what it, must feel like playing Augusta, shooting through all these little pine trees. It's going to be a, a big focus on picking your target and really committing to the shots off the tee today. So let's see if we can do just that. Nice driver to open us up with. I've been driving it well, pick your target and let's go. Oh, it's down the right hand side. Just leaked that. Luckily, it's hit the canopy of the pines and dropped down just to the right of the trap. It doesn't look too bad, but not the start we wanted. We need to get this thing under control quick time. Now, last episode, we were at Archerfield, which if you remember back to that one, if you've seen it, um, there were some pretty spectacular properties around, and we are only about 25 kilometers from Lisbon here. And the places around this golf course are sensational. I don't know which one I like more, but either or, I'd take them. But we've uh, found our golf ball anyway. We've clipped the canopy and dropped pretty much straight down, just shy of the bunker, which is good. But I've actually got a, a bit of a way here. It's 193 to the flag, and it's 182 up to the front. I have got this pine tree overhanging, so I'm going to have to try and cut something around i might hit like a little punchy cut five iron just try and get it around there it's lying okay so we should be okay so let's uh let's give that a go but before you do before we hit this shot if you haven't already make sure that you are subscribed to the channel it's totally free just click it down there and then you get loads of videos and loads of stuff to help you out with your game right let's see if we can pull this one off cutty cutty slicey choppy five iron out of the pine straw high caliber early in the morning 
there is a bunker front left which even if I get in there isn't probably the worst worst miss Let's see what we can do a bit of wind into off the right anywhere near the front is I'd say ideal oh dear oh dear I absolutely flushed that but caught the pine tree I think these pine trees are going to be a little bit of an issue today for me okay 123 we now leave ourselves after double pine jeopardy on the first hole luckily they shouldn't really be in I mean this one up here might come into play on the next shot but hopefully not 123 just wind into just three quarter a wedge just shy of full if I can uh, up and down this it'd be it'd be nice we'll see what we can do uh, oh no How's that come out that high? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, pines. I don't like pines. Can we go back to Lynx, please? This is, this is, this is bad. This is a bad start. <laughs> okay, so we're finally in the fairway. It's taken three shots to get here. If I hit pine from here, we've got serious, serious issues. But we've got 90, 94 to the flag. Let's see if we can get this in close and up and down birdie would be, uh, bogey would be very nice. Oh, Matthew. Right. This is the worst first hole I've ever had. I think I'm gonna have a triple bogey. Well, we've not left ourselves the friendliest putts either. Straight downhill, pure calamity hole your calamity thank goodness there is um 17 more holes after this one because this isn't my greatest work i'm afraid turn in well after a pine smashing session it leads to a little double bogey start here now, if I was playing in Q school, I would have to tell myself to be patient and that there's a lot more golf to play. Luckily, we do have 17 more holes to go, but comment down below, we've started with a double. Can we now get under par from here? So the second hole, 536 yards as a par five here. Now that bunker we can see is the only initial worry and there's one up on the left, just got to get it down there. This one doesn't look anywhere near as tight, it almost looks four times wider. Then obviously we have the water to worry about down near the green, but let's just stick to the plan. I've got my one swing thought for today. Just got to keep plodding along, don't get worried about things like what just happened on the last. Let's tell you, it's down the right. Scattered a load of birds. Right, game on. That is my issue because we found us and I've got quite a nice gap through, but I've got to hit the perfect shot and I've got to carry it 150 through there. I've not got to get it up in the pines and having just had a good pine whacking session down the first, I think I'm just going to play out down to the water, then just wedge on from there. Just try and make birdie the, the more normal way instead of being a hero two holes into the earth the whole thing just going to bump it down there only required probably 120 yards of flight and then just let it run out that is a1 let's see if we can go and wedge it close now get it close okay we're back in the the fairway where we need to be and we've got a green light for this flag that is 102 yards away so try and hit a better pitch than it did on the last i think last one i was just 
nervy and worried because I was whacking every tree on the property but 50 degree stick it in close and pull something back from here hopefully oh I've got such shut faces with my wedges at the minute it's so annoying perfect distance you can just feel as I'm gripping it I'm just getting the face a bit like this on the takeaway just need to watch that for the rest of the round but we've got a chance at birdie so not the end of the world okay 20 feet here perfect distance perfectly pin high just that little shut face I've got a sweeping left to right now about a foot and a half of break in this one so if we get it in brilliant if not we'll just take our five and run turning turning oh you've got to be kidding me you have got to be kidding me it's gone horizontal across the back of the hole At the end of the day though tee shot was poor which meant it was going to be hard to make birdie but i'll take five a little settler after that first hole and uh, we move on let's see if we can now up the stakes with a little birdie so our third hole plays 357 yards from here it is straight down opens up round the green there is one bunker up at green side so it's just a case of trying to get this thing i'm in two minds do i hit hit an iron down to 200 or do we just go full out here because if I get a good one away and it's straight I'm only just chipping on yeah I think we do that just try and find a bit of confidence in this instead of getting too protective early it looks wider that is more like it a little draw down the right side safely in a fairway right let's butcher on from here guys okay 80 yards to the flag there I was a little bit thin my drive but good news is we are in the fairway 80 yards i'm gonna hit that 50 i like pitching with my 50 so hit my 50 just be aware of that face and the wind is a little bit into here well it's actually bit stronger than I thought so it's probably playing about 90 this just got to make sure we feel that face a bit more open on the way back be a good number well we definitely got the face open that time we've got about 10 feet just right of the stick that was that was a good one that one we're happy with it we've got chances I said 10 foot, I was right with the 10 foot right, but I've hit it a little bit long there. Got about 30 feet, just now I keep saying it, but I need to improve my wedges. I think that's on my list for the new year. We've got Christmas to come. I'll get that out of the way. Maybe this is going out after Christmas, but once that's done, I think January, hammer home some wedge practice because the strike's definitely there it's just getting everything just all synced up at the minute but back to the matter at hand we have a subtle little right to left here tiny tiny right to left on it if we get this i think it's a bit of a bonus because like i say it's about 30 feet if not keep ticking the pars off and take the birdies when they come It's a tapping par, we'll take it folks, we will take it. Four, and we move on to another pine riddled fairway. So the fourth hole here, 538 yards, bunker at 226 down the right, then another one at 402. But as you can see, it's another pine filled affair. The sun's just dripping through these pines at the minute. We're out here early morning and uh, it's starting to just rise up over the pines when it gets to a sun full like peak of its height it'll look beautiful but you can just see the shadows and it's just dripping through which looks really nice this one really really tight again it does open out they sort of 
you sort of bottleneck around the tee and then open out as you get down to the fairway so it gives you that intimidation factor but if you can look beyond it they're, they're okay wind's a little bit off the left you just got to try and commit again to this driver hit one like the last just get it in play pick that target and keep going come on if I hit the fairway, I want everyone just to uh, smash that like button for me on here. Give me a little, give me a little G up. Give me a little confidence. Oh, that is a beauty. Down the middle, tiny draw. We found it. We found it and I can just hear it. The likes are rolling in. Come on, par five. Let's go and make a name for ourselves. So there's quite a few issues on this hole now. I've got 237, bunker to go 124, 132, 147, 142. Then we get to greenside, but there's a more prevalent issue. There's three or four pines slap bang in the middle of the fairway. So 237 to the middle, 215, I think it was to the front. I've got a hit like a, something down the left and cutting if I'm gonna go for the green or a hit maybe six iron just try and get it up and over and maybe maybe i don't think we're going to bounce it up there today i think i hit six with a high cut because we're slightly on a down slope off the fairway as well so if i do that then it leaves me a little chip up the green a bit of a strange one i'm not not the biggest fan of trees in the middle of a fairway because i've just nutted a drive down a tight alleyway and now I'm left not being able to actually I can get five iron off that I can cut a five iron but I would have liked to have been able to have a go at the green here I've got over them no either should be okay wasn't my best strike hopefully it's down there and leaves me a little chip strange hole that one very strange. Here is some evidence of uh, where my ball hit. Nice little break there. I've just literally caught the last bit of the pines up here and it's dropped straight down. I know you, Matt, because like I say, great drive. Just, just a slightly mishit five iron, but that leaves me, would you guess, 90 yards. So I'm getting practice at these wedges at least. And it's not as if it's I mean 540 off the back down there it's tight it's not a it's not an easy par five it's not like an old gifted birdie strange placement I'd get rid of them if it was me and change maybe move the tees forward and have it as a long par four that would be my only thing on that one but we've got to do got to deal with what we've been dealt let's see keep that face open Be good. It looks close, it's in the shadows that, but it looks like there's a little tear and it's rolled down to about six feet it looks like, so hopefully we get our just deserves. Well we pitched just a couple of feet away and it's gone just outside that six feet, it's about ten feet just down that little slope. But it's a birdie chance nonetheless. Little uphill. Up the hill, then down the hill with a tiny bit of left to right. Let's see if we can get the putter warmed up. Break, break. Oh! Just straightened out at the end. That's annoying. Well, the good news is we're four holes in now. I've started to find some fairways. I'm hitting my irons nicely. I've wedged it better the last few and I've put it okay. I feel like I've settled down. I've got two over par, got a few pars under my belt now. If we can just keep it going, I think the good stuff's gonna come. So if we can get maybe round to level or one over for the nine, I'd be pretty happy with that. The fifth hole here at Arara Challenge is a par three. 205, the flag is, it's 188 to the front. There's a bunker, 188 short. Wind sort of down and off the right a little bit. So I've got my five iron. 
just a cut from the center of the green should get us aboard safely and we can just move on if we get a two here brilliant if not I'd be pretty happy with a par on a on a longer par three like this one wind hit it struck it nice I think it's on the green or it might just be on the fringe it was a tiny bit pushy but it looks doesn't look like it's in too much danger so we'll take it so up to the green I've actually pitched just on and it's kicked a little right and I found the fringe so pretty happy with that it's pin high or there or thereabouts um, only about 40 feet so overall not too bad on that longish par three got to go up a little slope to start and then it's coming down a slope as we approach the flag so got to pay attention here got to pay attention there's a hair of right to left in it as well Get down that hill, get down the hill, get down the hill. Oh, just didn't quite, quite get it going early on there. It was a bit tentative. That's annoying. I just saw that moving slightly and it just actually went the other way on me, but that's golf. Just said I wanted to get back to Every time I try and predict a score, I always do the worst and make a bogey or something afterwards. So I'm not going to make any more score predictions now. I'm just going to make predictions on how I want to hit it. <sighs> Sloppy mistake. We move on. Six hole is 435 yards. Big issue is this water 300. Um, it starts at that is on the left hand side of the fairway. Luckily. I don't really hit it left that much now. I've got the new setup, so try and just commit. Forget the last hole. Keep picking that target, keep committed, and we'll do okay. Stay there. Down the left side of the fair. It's moving a lot, that. It's pitched and it's fine. Seem to have a little bit more draw. The wind must be. When you're up out of the pines, must be a little bit off the right, which I didn't expect, my friends. But we're safe. We're away. 185 in the fairway. We have found ourselves. There's a bunker down the right-hand side of the green, which doesn't seem to be an issue. The water does run all the way down the the uh, down the hole now, so I've just got to avoid that on the left-hand side. Can definitely feel a lot more of the wind when we're out here now. I didn't hit that drive great, but. As we're stood here, you can actually feel it coming out when you're out that sort of little surrounding cove of the uh, the T. When you're out in the open a bit more, it's definitely more here. So 185 is probably playing closer to 200, maybe 190, 195. Um, so I think we'll hit a six iron. I don't want to hit. A uh, mind you, five on the last was 205. That goes six, it just looks looks too short for a five. We'll go six and start it up the right and bring it in is the play. Keep turning. Probably was a five because I've hit that very nice. Just couldn't bring myself to hit five there. Just didn't look like it. But we're on the green it looks like just got a long putt well we've come up short by maybe five yards of the green definitely was a five iron maybe we've even got a four there just underestimated that wind but a fairly straight forward chip now get it running along the green i only need to land it just on and it'll chase all the way up towards the flag so try and tidy up here nothing crazy get chasing get chasing oh, I thought that was going to shoot more going on the down slope I actually played that pretty much how I wanted to which is annoying mm. 
this is where we need to have something happen for us. Pretty straightforward putt. This is a momentum builder, I feel. Oh, you've not. <sighs> Matthew, 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 Matthew. Bogey, bogey from nowhere. That seems to be my game at the minute. Not anything wildly horrific, but then you make a bogey. Well, not the spell of golf we wanted there over the last 20 minutes, but is what it is. The seventh hole is 383 yards par four. Water actually stretching from 170 to 290. Now, I'm feeling confident with the driver. I've actually drove it nicely the last few holes, turning it right to left. So I should stay away from this, but I'll aim down the left and just try and hit that draw and see if we can rectify a few problems. Well, I'm not hitting it any straighter than that. That is drive of the day. Straight down the pipe. Let's go and make a birdie. I need one, I deserve one. I feel like I've done okay thus far. I've just been mistreated by the nasty game. Well, a fairway found that one of our favorite yardages were in 92 yards of the flag. So let's see if we can get something done here. 50 degree. You know what I've got to do with the swing? I've got that feeling down with this wedge now. I've just got to get the right distance on it. Get the strike, 94. I've been a bit long on everything, so I'm just going to play it the same. It's slightly downwind though, so maybe grip down a tiny bit just to take three or four yards off it. Come on. Please be a good yardage because that is all over the stick. I think it's about two inches away. It looks proper. It looks proper. That is the type of wedge shot I want to hit every single time. I know that is very high expectations, but there was a lot of good stuff happening there. More of those, please, sir, because we've got a pretty straightforward putt. See if we can convert. Not with a push like that, Matt. That was shocking, such a short, stabby stroke. Oh, why is it when one thing gets good, another one always fails you in this game? Figured out my irons a little bit better, got the driver going, putter's now deserted me. <sighs> Two holes to go on this nine. Come on, keep positive. Keep positive. That's one thing that has definitely improved over these series. My mentality has got a lot better. The eighth hole here at Arara Challenge is a par three. 159 is the flag today. It's downhill and it's downwind, so I've got a nine iron out. There's a bunker just at the front of the green that's 123, and also another one that is 125 to the start, 145 to cover the the furthest one on the right. Pin looks tucked on the right, so I'm just going to try and fade it off the middle and see what we can do. Oh, pushed it at that trap. I've got over it, I think. I think it's just on the hill on the right. Didn't quite turn on that one. Right, tidying up to do. Finish off one's mess. Down at the green, luckily, managed to cover this bunker, though it was 150 to get by. We're just past pin high. Just in like the little bit of semi, I've just got to go over the fringe here and then get it running out. So nothing, nothing crazy. Just need to settle down, chip close and move on. That would be, that would be ideal from here. A chip in would be great. Good chip, I can't be disappointed, but it was right down the barrel of the hole and just pulled up that one foot shy. It's a par, it's a par. 
I know we're four over par at this point. I do feel that I've played better than that. Just those two silly mistakes, two holes ago, and obviously the pine whacking session at the first. But if I can keep doing this, I feel like the back nine. If I just keep swinging well, tidy up like that, I feel like I've got chances. I feel like I've got chances. Comment down below. How do you think we're going to get on in the back nine? And wish me, wish me some luck in there. 227 to get by the water on this 413 yard hole, 13 yard ninth hole. Now, we've been driving it well, so I'm not even worried about that. Just gotta, just gotta take some chances. There is an overhanging pine ever so slightly just up there, but that's down the water line, so it is good in a way, because it's forcing me a little bit left of the Agua. Downwind, let's just take it to Pound Town and have a wedge into the green. Hopefully that's long enough because it's down the right side. Oh, it's miles over the water. I don't know why I'm so surprised because that water was 230. It's like carried about 40, 50 by it. I had a, intended a little draw there, but the winds pushed it down the centre of the fairway more and it is A1, it's coming, the birdie is coming. We are sitting pretty in the presidential suite here, slap bang in the middle of the fairway with just 114 yards to the flag. Slightly downwind, a little bit uphill, going the 50 again. Feeling confident with this club now, I'm starting to hit this quite well. Just need that putter to heat up. Need to get it out of the shade. I might take the head cover off. I think that's where I've been going wrong. But get this in close. Give ourselves another look is all we can keep doing. That's all I need to keep doing. Oh, I've left it well open. I think it's going to be good for distance. Just didn't release it, but can't hit everyone perfect. We found the green, but a little bit off our destination. We took an unintended right turn. We've got chances though, if we get this putter warmed up. A little bit downhill. Strange putt this. Don't know why I've been a bit I know the greens, and my pace has got worse as I've got on. They've uh, have been almost a little bit too respectful of them, not having a, a run at them. Four over for the front nine. Like I say, I think scoreline reads worse than the actual play I've put forward today because I've drove it well, hit it pretty decent with wedges. Silly little putting error. And just that terrible start, but the back nine. I'm feeling it. We're going to take it. We're going to take it to town. We're going to make it the best comeback ever. Our 10th hole is a fairly innocuous par four. There is a little bit of water, but it's only 100 yards or so to get over it. And then there's nothing really in the fairway, just obviously the pines carving out the direction we want to be going in. So 364 up the hill, see if we can get a good one away again and give ourselves a chance with a wedge. too much draw. Looks like it's going to get a gap though. Oh dear, please go through. This is going to be an interesting second shot. It's just off the fairway, but it looks like I've got a bit of pine, pine trouble in the way. 82 yards. I've been leaving myself these numbers all day, yet to convert from one of them. I've been hitting Decent shots. We've only got a little bit of trouble here from the um, the overhanging pine, so I've just got to be a little bit wary of that. And there is one sticking out a little bit left, but should be okay. I'm going to try and hit a bit more of a knocked down pitch here. And... Oh. Got the yardage just skirted the pine there. Luckily, it was only a little branch that was there. Just went a bit right, so we've got a chance again, I think. We've just got to keep pushing, keep giving ourselves chances. That's all I can do. Hopefully, I can convert at some point in this damn video. 
chances yet again we're inside that 20 foot circle that I want to be with every wedge let's see if we can be a bit braver with the putts this nine a little bit downhill this ball and a half of right to left in it let's be brave Matthew just slid by again one of those rounds today thus far. One of those rounds, par though, it'll do. We need to make a hot start down the next lot though. Let's go, come on, everyone, come with. I'm going Birdie Town. 531 is the 11th, par five. 212 down the right, 240 down the right. We've got a fair old few bunkers up this hole, but if we can just keep it down the right side, we'll get by those bunkers. And we should then have a shot at the green in two, hopefully. Just got to avoid this pine about 20 yards off the tee. They're encroaching, dear boy. Oh no. Well, I heard it hit wood. I think I'm going to have to hit a provisional there. Yeah, definitely left to right the wind because I've towed that. Right, I've seen where that's pitched. Just by the pine and kick slightly right. Maybe, maybe we're fortunate and find the first one. Probably not though. Looked like it was near Lisbon. Well, nail in the coffin there. Ball one was lost, we're now ball two. Par five, this is going to be my third shot. Well, now I was three off the tee, so this is going to be my fourth shot. And I've got 270 left up to the green. I've got forward. I have got like a space to hit a cutty one around. So we're going to try and get this as close as possible. And if we can get out of here with a six, it would be a, a miracle. But uh, yeah, this course, I know it's the, uh, it's the Ladies European Tour qualifying course. It is, I mean, I don't know what's won it. We'll try and have a look and throw the scores up on screen from the last one that was held here. It is so hard. If I was trying to qualify here, they must be seriously good because off the tee, it's, it's just constant, constant. You can't just stand up and whack it. And then you've got obviously all the pines to contend with with your second shot, so. It's one heck of a hard course, probably the hardest one we've had on in the red yet. But back to the matter at hand, let's see some swaz on the channel. Let's give a old uh, smash of the likey if we get the, the ultimate swaz fest down here. Cutty forward, come on. This has got tiger swaz written all over it. Oh, I've done it, I've overdone it. Don't tell me I've gone in the pines on the right. I think I've got it low and healy enough that I've got a wedge in, so I'm okay. Wanted a bit more forward there, got too much swaz on it. Too much swaz, not worth a like that swaz, I'll give you that. I'll let, I'll let you not like for that. Go in the damn bag, will you? Stop disobeying me. We hit it in the pines off the tee. We then had pines to go round for our second slash third, fourth. Now we've got a little alleyway of pines to go through here because we are from pine to pine to pine. 63 yards. Little pitch out of this onto the green. We need to, uh, we need to, we really need to up and down this for this not to be a horror round when I don't actually feel like I've done too badly. Just had a couple of real costly holes. 50 degree. Come on. Sit. It's nice, there's an outside chance of holding it. Looks like it's about 15 foot away. It's hard sometimes when you get like this little happen, it's like, 
it deflates you, you just got to reset, think there's seven, six or seven holes more to go now. What could be, you never know, could go on a birdie streak and go crazy. The next holes are probably the best on the course as well. So just got to stay focused now, see what we can do. See if we can at least maybe finish without dropping a shot, pick a couple up and we'd be, you know, wouldn't be too bad from there. But let's see how we go. Well, we're definitely inside that 15 foot mark, maybe by about a foot or three. A gentle, gentle downhill and left to right one. Is this the time that my putter wakes up or does it have to be sent to the naughty closet? I've got a few that are knocking on the door. They want entry into the club. Just got to show some ID and you might get in, lads. Over the right edge, why? Why, oh, why, oh, why, oh, why, oh, why, oh, why? Are you being such a naughty boy today? Me and you are going to fall out very soon. Double bogey, everyone. Seven. Takes us to six over par. It's becoming a hack fest. The 12th is a par three, 190 yards, and the flag is 190. There's water that runs up to 134 yards, so the flag looks on the, maybe? It looks right, but it's actually left because the green sort of bows around the right-hand side. So I'm just gonna go to the left edge of the green and try and just cut it back onto the flag. Got a six iron. Let's see if we can get our foot down and do something. No, please travel. Well, it's pin high. It's about 50 foot right of the flag. Ah, just not quite clearing today with some longer shots. We'll get there though, folks, we'll get there. Well, we've got to the green and it's not as bad as I pondered. The green looked more sort of elongated as I was looking at it from the tee, but the greens haven't been overly speedy so it's not not worrying me too much let's see if we can pull one out of the rabbit's hat here or even pull a rabbit out of the hat would probably be the correct terminology that's not going to get there Matt that is just right put us going in the bin it's let me down it's betrayed me it has betrayed my trust you naughty putter. It's weird, some days they feel amazing in your hands and then other days the grip just feels alien to me. Someone's, someone must have had a putt with it without me knowing. They've taken it out of my bag and contaminated it. Get in. Went bold at that one thinking it's going to slide because it's on a slope. And now I've just whacked it through the brake. Not good, this. Not good, folks. Not good. Making me look a tad foolish. Oh, and it's just jumped left on me. That's a four putt. Double, double. Four whack. I don't think I've had a four putt in a long time. Definitely time for a change of stick. Nothing to do with me whatsoever. All to do with the uh, the stupid game. The stupid game of the putter. Our 13th hole is 383 yards. No real trouble here. We're surrounded by all the nice little lakey slash ponds. But it's uh, straight away with no trouble up until the green. But there's obviously the pines covering it. I don't think I'm going to get in the red. I think at eight over par, that is a no-no. But what I am going to do, we've got 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 80. We've got six holes left. My challenge is to be two under for these next six holes. I'm going to put with my wedge as well, just to make sure that that happens. There will be a new putter in the bag next time you see an episode of In The Red, because that one has betrayed me. Stay behind that. Oh, it hit the pine and shot right. Did you see that? 
That came out quick and right. I may have even missed the fairway right that, even though it smashed a tree on the left. A little bit of fortune there. Let's see what we can go and turn it into. Well, my eyes deceived me a little bit there. I thought it had shot right, but it looks like it's just shot pretty much straight down. We've got 123 up to the flag. Let's see if we can do something. Save, save my sanity. Well, it looks good. Looks a good number, we struck well again. Just need to do something with that damn putter. Okay, we're back inside the circle again. We're inside that 20 feet range, but the naughty stick is in my hand. Bet this goes in because it's, it's heard that it's going to the naughty closet. So now try and impress me to stay in the bag, but your future's been, been side sealed delivered. You're not going to get that call at the last hour. You're done. You're dead to me. Told you. Oh no, it's just gone left on the end. Oh, why? Every putt today has been so close to dropping. Oh. Well, terrible drive, a little bit towing. We've got away with it. It's another par. Just got to focus on that six hole goal for myself. Two under, five of it to go. Let's keep on pushing. Hole 14 is a par three down the hill, 192 yards. There's bunkers right and left of the green. Very nicely halt framed hole again, very tight. Everything when you stood on the tee just looks like there's little branches that will overhang the tee. And, uh, Everything's just got that intimidation factor because it looks like you've just got this narrow space to get the ball in, but to be fair, it frames it very nicely and gives you like a definitive choice of what you're going to do with the golf ball. So let's see if we can get this one close. Six iron, come on. Hole in one turns everything around here. Leave it wind. I've struck it so nice again. Ooh, a bit short, I think. Just seem to hold up in the wind. Right, the test is on. The test is on. Well, a tad short. Only three or four paces and it just turned on me. It's hard to judge wind as well. I had it in my mind that it was left to right, but it was actually right to left. That's one of the factors that, like, when you're in amongst the pines, obviously the ball is going to go out above them but you can't feel as much wind because you're guarded by it all. But that's where someone like a proper caddy would come in handy. Right, 60 degree, I'm just going to bump it up on the slope, over the slope, sorry, and just let it trickle down to the flag. I'm just going to dodge it. <sighs> Today's not my day, is it? Everything's falling apart here. Just caught that, they literally a tenth of an inch heavy and off we go now we're staring another bogey down the barrel come on is it the time that the putter actually works the best putter on youtube is officially vacant as of today let's hit the edge of the hole again why do you hate me today, golf gods? Well, bogey. It's not good, folks. It's not good. I don't know, like, how I feel about this. Because I actually, driving, I would say that, um, you know, probably drove it 70% well. Irons into the green. I've struck all my irons pretty well. I've just missed out on a couple, but I've hit a lot of greens. Short game, so-so. Putting's let me down. But I don't feel like I'm nine over par. The 15th is 295 yards. We go out all the way over the water. The flag's pretty much in a straight line to us. The water cuts all the way up to the green in that direction. The fairway's off to the left. 
and it sort of snakes in and out of the fairway but I think we've just got to go straight at the green or just left side of it try and get one up onto there and see if we can rescue any form of score well, that is A1 I've seen it bounce looks like we could be up near the front of the green we might get our first birdie of the campaign miracles are yet to be seen well we're on dry land we've pitched halfway up the bank it looks like there's a little pitch mark there and it's a couple of yards from clambering up onto the green and having an eagle putt but it's just trickled its way back down and found i'm pretty much on the border of the water hazard here i would say i'm probably going to not have such a nice coloured top after this one because it's just in the muddy thicky horrible stuff but can't really expect much today it's not going well for me so the rub of the green but little pitch up on and just run whilst we can sit it's actually come out better than i thought though it's quite quite solid i thought it was going to be a bit spongy underneath there and take the club in but ah, that's literally if it's two or three yards left or two or three yards longer it's up on the green but case hurrah well another birdie putt definitely hit more greens i've just hit my putter a lot more times this this round get him that was just shocking. It's one of those days now. Just a complete and utter grind to the finish. I feel like the train is just grinding to a halt. It's just going to collapse into the station with a, a mediocre bogey down the last, I feel. 16 hole is 365 up the hill. Bunkers early on but then it's just green side so we've just got to get it through the gorse again it does pinch in around about 280 300 just got to make sure again i get a good drive away and get myself a chance that's more like it it's center stripe again nicely down the fairway that will do green lights are a go we've got 80 yards up to the flag we are going up onto the green and the bunkers are just left so they're no worry shouldn't be from 80 yards but you never know today just going to hit my 54 because of that uphillness and it's also a bit downwind this could be the key to making our first birdie who knows crazier things have happened don't want to comment on that one because I'm not sure if it's pin high or a little bit long it was a tiny bit left struck it well said I didn't want to comment on it but I'm just giving you a commentary because I just love it better than thought it's better than I thought I've wedged it well put it like a clown let's see if that can change because we're inside 10 feet with that one hit it good really struck the wedges well today which has been a big key to actually hitting some good ones <laughs> oh my god <sighs> what <laughs> what do you have to do <sighs> right <laughs> That's a par. I thought that was it. I nearly screamed out when that was about an inch away. Finally, we've done it. But it just kicked it out. Not today, sunshine. Off you go. <sighs> tough old game. 17th hole tough on this. 465 yards par four. Straight down. You go downhill, then you raise slightly back up to the... Uh, to the green again another one that's just laden with the pine trees gives you that visual but 
also gives you a little bit of terror because it looks about 20 yards wide got to get a good drive down again need to make a birdie because can't go a full round of golf without having a birdie i don't feel i mean i've had a lot of chances from inside 20 feet just just not converted but we know what will solve that new putter in the bag don't practice just get a new stick all right let's give this a smash down there oh it's gonna turn too much toad it seen a little bounce in all the dirt a bit toey that one we find ourselves in the darkest despair ridden place we're in the uh pine straw sandy off beaten track part again 175 up to the flag that's just perched just right of these so i can get a little turn on it to be fair just got to make sure i get the strike off this beaten down path bit got a seven iron just going to try and hit like a little right to lefter from here oh no i've shanked it just caught that so far out of the heel it was i think a dimple away from being at a right angle not good folks despair despair out here in lisbon at least at least the sun is shining not what we wanted having to have a 25 yard pitch for an up and down for par chase up ah, it's good good strike again just not enough pace to it right this is it i'm not lining this one up because then it changes my mind and it goes in Mm, little bobble little bobble off the eight over three over for the back nine i think for my for my last six no no it wasn't because i didn't i think i'm two over for that bit lost my mind it's all gone wrong it's all gone pete tongue today all gone the 18th holds 500 yards of par five with water winding all down the right hand side and then water up around the green it's going to be a tricky one but it's the last hurrah let's see how we go what about when i hit it in the water splash every drive i've stayed behind on today has gone left did it went right looking back on that hole i don't think it's a driver down there because my landing zone is about 12 yards wide i uh, flew it straight into the water on this line you could probably hit forward down rescue down something up because the green's actually tucked in around the corner as well so now i'm going to have to i'm going to try and sling one round because you know we've lost all all hope or sense of any golf score so we may as well have some fun um but yeah i think that would probably be a layup knock it down wedge it on mm. not to be today worst score worst score we've had hardest course we've played i think very very tricky oh, i've got it as well In the bunker pretty much greenside i mean it was a great shot but hit one drop two playing three i've got to up and down it for a par to shoot eight over back to the drawing board new putter needed new uh new life to assess but at least it's sunny let's go don't thin it there's a practice ground behind there I mean that's pretty good for a 30 yard bunker shot like that right folks this putt for an 80. was just as good with my uh wedge than i was my putter 
Well, that was not meant to be today. I enjoyed the challenge. Hope you enjoyed that episode, guys. Arara, thanks for having us down. What a challenging but pretty track. It's got a lot of potential, this place, and I think in the next few years it will be a gem for sure. One that I'll have to revisit and see if I can mend my broken soul after chopping it around today. It's back to the drawing board for us. Some work's needed, maybe a few lessons. Episode six coming soon. See you in the next one.